This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a water reflected animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and also do let me know in the comment section below. And if you're watching my video for the very first time, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and press that bell notification icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to go full HD, that is 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, and let's make this duration 10 seconds long. Hit OK, and before hitting OK, make sure you rename the comp to render so that it's our main render comp. It's always good to be organized here. And then I will be creating one more new composition, which is uh, going to be our map layer because to create that water reflection we need to create a displacement map basically so into the map composition i'm going to hit ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg let's call this bg for background doesn't matter which color it is hit ok go into effects and preset and use a very interesting and a very popular effect called fractal noise i'm going to add that up and for the contrast i will increase this a little bit to around 130 then i'm going to jump into the transform properties unlink the uniform scaling and then scale the width really high all the way up to 600 and let's um, bring down the scale height to around 20 so that looks good and now i can also bring down the complexity a little bit not much just by five and we can animate the evolution to get this really interesting pattern animation so to do that we will be using a very simple expression so i'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution right over here you can see we have an expression so i'm going to get rid of that and use time times let's go with 100 for now so we have this really nice and simple evolution animation going on which looks good and that is all that we need to do for the map let's go back into our uh, main render comp let's type in our text whichever text that i want to use i'm going to type in just like an example you and for the color i will go with a nice white color let's align this properly into the center i think it's a bit too big for my liking so i'm going to bring that down to around 800 or something yeah that looks good now let's create a background so hit ctrl y call this bg for background and give it a black color and hit ok so this is going to be our background now i'm going to drag in the map composition right over here and we can hide this we don't need to see it right click new and create a new adjustment layer i'm going to call this ref 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 for reflection basically and then i'm going to move the reflection reflection layer right here or the reflection adjustment layer i can also turn on the title action safe just to be a bit more precise and properly you know align this into the center all right now i will be using a bunch of effect on this particular adjustment layer the first one is going to be displacement map using which we can actually utilize our map composition or the map uh, you know animation that we just created so in the displacement map layer i will be using the map as you can see i'm gonna set the use from horizontal displacement and use from vertical displacement both of them to luminance and let's increase this to around 80 i can also increase the vertical displacement a bit around like 15 or something and now you can see we get this really interesting look which looks kind of a reflection but we are not there yet we need to use a few more effect to make it look a bit more uh, organic so let's go into effects and preset and i will be using cc vector blur for now let's add this let's change the type to perpendicular i'll set the amount around 20 should be good yep that looks good pretty nice and finally I will add a little bit of noise in order to get rid of any kind of color bendings if we had. So I'm going to add a noise. 
I'm gonna double click, make sure the layer is selected and double click to add the noise and set the noise to around 2%. That looks good. And also I'm gonna switch to 16 bits per channel. So I'm gonna hold alt and click on this icon. So it's gonna switch to 16 bits in order to get rid of, get rid of all the color bendings. And as you can see, this is looking very, very nice. And the best part is that you can use any different color that you want for the text. So I can maybe switch this to some like a yellow, I don't know. And you know, it's gonna look super awesome. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AE Juice. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions, presets, titles for your project. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Pretty cool. Now let's take it another uh, a step further and basically animate this. So I'm going to just come back to white and then I'm going to duplicate the text layer. So I'm going to hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's pull this below and I'm going to rename this actually call this a ref for reflection and let's create a shape and I'm going to move this shape just right over here or maybe Let's actually move the shape at the bottom and we can align the adjustment layer and the shape together so that they are perfectly matching up. So I'm going to select the shape layer and select the reference adjustment layer and just align them properly. Just like so. All right. I'm going to call this mask and hide this. Then I'm going to select the second text layer, go into effects and preset and add a set mat to this. And in the take mat from layer, I'm going to set this to mask. Then I'm going to select the set mat layer, hit control C, paste it on the first text, control V, and then invert this just like that. And I'll go to around two seconds and animate both of these texts. So I'm going to select text layers, hit P, create a keyframe on the position, go back and let's put this down just like so. And this one up and now we get uh very nice and simple if i just switch back to eight bits for now we get this really nice reveal looks pretty awesome i can select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag them to the left like so so we get a smoother animation basically Pretty nice. And one more quick tip here that if you want to change the text, because we have two text layers, every time you will need to, uh, you know, change both of these texts. Because if I just double click and change this to a new text, I need to again, double click here and change this to new text as well. But a quick trick here is if I hit control Z, let's bring down the text source. I'm going to bring this one out as well. Then right click here, go into columns and bring up the parent and link option. And I'm going to, I'm going to link this source text to this first one. All right. So now if I change this text, the second one is going to get updated automatically. So it's pretty quick, simple and easy. And boom, there we have a new text. So you can use text, you can use images, you can even use shape layers and create a very interesting look. So that is a wrap guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating some cool water reflection effect inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below. And if you're watching my video for the very first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell notification icon. So you always get notified whenever I upload a new video. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.